Lieutenant Karen Kutkowitz on the phone with us right now from the Coast Guard. Uh, Lieutenant, thank you for joining us. So bring us up to speed, please, on what's going on with the, with the ferry situation right now. Good evening. Right now, the ferry is still off of uh, northeast of Situate. Um, it was on its way from Provincetown to Boston, as you know. Um, it was disabled by a, uh, reportedly by a wave. And so the Coast Guard is on scene to assist uh, if anything is necessary. Also, they have a sister ship en route. Also, the province Town 2 is coming along, and originally they were going to be towing the vessel, but the engineers got the starboard engine uh, working, uh -huh. so it's making its way slowly so, uh, back to Boston. So do, do you believe it's, it's five miles or so off of Situate, or do you think it's closer to the shore? Uh, reports uh, that I've been hearing are between three and four miles off the shore situation. Yeah. Lieutenant, why was the why was the ferry system running? I know that there were a number of cancellations between the Cape and Islands today. Why was a boat running between P Town and Boston when conditions were so bad? I would have to ask uh, the runners of the of the ferry on that one, ma'am. So you're telling me though that there's it, no port closure, no. Okay, and and the 42 passengers on board are going to stay on that. Semi-disabled boat and make the long trek back. You're not going to try to transfer them. Uh, we're not going to try to transfer them right now. There's no injuries reported, and it's safer for them to stay on board. If the uh, harbor cruises deems it necessary for the safety of the passengers to offload them, then uh, that might be what they, uh, road they go down. Well, Lieutenant, thank you for your time. We we appreciate the update.